a roach? might need Jesus because something about her grabbing that roach with her bare hands was, was, was kind of sexy. It might be something wrong with me because I, I thought that was kind of sexy. You know, I'm from the trenches now. We we, we Some of y'all folks be acting, when y'all go outside, y'all be acting like y'all ain't grow up with roaches. You know what I'm saying? I, I lived in the I lived in the hood. If your neighbors have roaches, you got roaches too. Some of y'all be acting. Um, I called like child services on this one. <laughs> I got I called child services on my ex because he pissed me off. And then I was like, yeah, I'm done with this person, whatever. Like, you know, cheater, piece of shit, lies about dumb shit. He had kids. I called child services on his ass and I like fabricated everything and like censored things. I ain't gonna lie, I ain't even, I, we ain't even halfway through the video and she already pissed me off. She called child services on her ex because she was mad at him and lied. and they like went to the door and like there was a whole process like I don't even know if the children's aid worker still visits them but she probably does because what I said like the way I AI'd that shit you know like real AI shit like fake bruises type shit <laughs> <Because> <laughs> yeah. yeah pretty crazy so you fake bruises you fake shit and then you just made like exaggeration story and then on their kid on, on his kids yeah like so it like yeah and they came and they were like, oh, like, we're seeing stuff that your kids are being abused. You know, you could lose your kids. And I was just like, that sucks. Bro, I'm not going to lie, bro. As a, as a father, I am pissed. I don't even know the dude that she did that to, but I'm just imagining myself in this man's shoes. I am pissed. I am pissed. She's evil. <sighs> she evil as mm, she evil dog. This is right here. This is a brand new whip I just got from Indonesia. It's called a petchut. It's used over there for uh, cultural performances, stuff like that. And this thing is a beast. It's made out of wood, yarn, uh, looks like poly rope on the end. And I want to give this thing a shot. <laughs> Holy smokes. Let's go, uh, let's go 
put that inside. <laughs> so this is right here. The I ain't never picked a cotton a day in my life, and I just had PTSD. I just had PTSD. Now, I know his white ass ain't mean nothing by that, but I felt, I felt that down my spine. Pause. I felt it in my spine. I remember seeing this video a few years ago and I felt back then the same way as I feel now. This shit was so disrespectful, bro. Now, I know a few of y'all going to say, yo, the fact that she didn't even tell her man that these dudes was out there disrespecting him trying to slip her their number, she for the streets. You could look at it like that, but you could also look at it like, because there's one or two things that could have happened out of that situation, bro. She could have told her man, yo, this man just slipped me his number while we on his date. Her man get offended and get to shooting at folks because he was outnumbered. Or, or... Maybe he don't got the blame you on him, but he approached him like, yo, bro, stop playing with me. And now somebody in the entourage who wants to prove themselves kill her man. A whole bunch of different ways. When I first seen the video, I'm like, oh, nah, she for the streets, bro. She for the streets. But then I started really thinking about it because I've seen this video multiple times, bro. And I was like, okay, maybe, maybe she did the right thing. By not telling her man what was going on. You know, you got to think maturely. But this joint was disrespectful. Yo, this man just hit me in my face with a brick. And all these black men just watch. And they don't give a brick Yeah. This man hit me Grab the rock and it hit me in my face because I want to give him my number. And all y'all just fucking watch. What you y'all see that shit? What you y'all see that shit? What y'all want y'all to do? I want y'all to be a man. I want y'all to be a man and fucking do something. Y'all gonna let a man hit me in my face. Fuck all y'all. What have I ever done to anybody in my life to deserve this? I never did anything in my life to hurt anybody. Literally, a man asked me for my number. I said no, and he he picked up a brick in front of so many men and was like, "What are you gonna do?" And I told all these men like, "Yo, why is this man got a brick on my face?" And he's he's holding a brick, and all these men is watching, and nobody does nothing. And he hits me in my face, and then they all just watch him. And they let that get in the car. How is this okay? This is what y'all doing to women? I don't even care about my face because I'm still going to be prettier than all of y'all. Because I have a pretty heart. But my heart is broken, y'all. My heart is broken because I will stand up for any of y'all. I stand up for everybody. I stand up for everybody. And nobody ever stands up for me. And my heart is I'm not gonna lie. The first part of this video I've seen was um her in the hospital 
complaining about, you know, somebody hit her in the face with a brick. And I was like, damn. Then I started seeing other little videos of, like, stuff that she does. And I was like, hmm, I wonder if she slapped the dude first. But apparently, the dude asked her for her number. She said no, and he hit her with a brick. Regardless of what you think of her, right? No man should hit a lady in the face with a brick. No man should put his hands on a woman. But no man should. Now, I know some of y'all going to say, well, what did she do? She had to have done something. But, bro, it's dudes out here that literally can't take rejection. It's dudes out here that can't take rejection, bro. I've been trying to convince my wife to carry a gun for the longest, and she doesn't want to do it. I've been trying to take her to the shooting range to teach her how to use a gun, and she doesn't want to do it, bro. And... The reason I want to do that is my wife is a beautiful lady, and she tells me stories about dudes coming at her, and so far the story has been peaceful, but if a man put his hands on my woman, bro, I'm going to lose it. I'm going to lose it, bro. If a man disrespect my woman and it like that, like, bro, if you put, I don't even want to bring that into fruition, bro, but I would lose it, son. And that... That also leads into the topic of if you see a stranger, two strangers, a man and a woman getting into it, and the man is about to physically assault the woman, are you jumping in? Would you risk your life for a stranger? How much for that one right there, though? What, which one? The big one, folks. This one? No, the other, the big one you're supposed to... Seven million for this Seven million, let them know then, folks. Seven M's on the G. Cheap Why he look like Floyd Mayweather? Million he said a million. Too, my nigga I see him see, I pay, bro, guys. This one calls, 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 calls like 895. 895? Yeah, yeah. How much for that one right there, though? What, which one? The big one, folks. This one... This I know they're trying to make fun of this man, but you know what? Manifestation is real. He He's saying absurd costs for them dollar store, uh, them beauty supply chains. But at the same time, brother, go ahead and manifest, bro. Manifest that shit. Some of y'all need to practice manifestation right now. Fluff. In this moment, sin sin el verdadero taco. Hey, 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 bro! I woulda got caught like that too. I mean, I ain't gonna lie though. I wouldn't turn around like that. That's just disrespectful. That's just asking for an ass whooping. But like, I woulda sneaked the, I woulda sneaked a little peek, and I got caught like that too, bro. Yeah, that's just disrespectful, bro. You just, you can't do that. <laughs> I'm sorry, you can't do that, dog. That's you just asking for an ass whooping then. 